At the meeting, Vice President stressed the need for government and partners to invest in human capital development to create a workforce that is not just global competitive, but also adaptable to the modern demand of the 21st century, acknowledging the significant impact of the two Nigerian wealthy businessmen. The Vice President noted that every society rises and falls depending on the quality of its leadership. Earlier Minister of Health and Social Welfare, Professor Pat noted the current efforts the federal government has made in putting people at the center of the renewed hope agenda of the Tinubu's administration, even as he underscores the importance of investing in human resources. The government of President Bola Ahmed Tinubu is very keen to ensure we harness Nigeria's human capital, its population, so that they are of high quality to drive economic growth and will benefit the private sector as well as the public sector. So all of us have vested interest in that. His Excellency, the Vice President, convened this meeting uh, to discuss how government, uh, within the overall vision of the Renewal of Agenda, can come together with state governments, partnering with the federal government, with private sector leaders, and we're fortunate that we have uh, among the wealthiest, well, we have the wealthiest Nigerians and Africans that are here. On his part, the chairman of Dangote Group commends the foresight of Vice President Shetima in convening the meeting, noting that it underpins the commitment of Tinubu's administration to address challenges around human capital development. It is uh, our partnership, uh, what we have between us and the federal government. We've been on this for a very, very long time. It is to do with uh, three things, health, education and jobs. And I think uh, Professor uh, Fati, Honorable Minister of Health and Coordinating Minister, we started with him right from the beginning. He was the person that actually championed the elimination of this polio, right even from the beginning. In the same vein, the founder of Tony Elumilu Foundation pledged his support for the federal government's initiative towards the Nigerian human capital development. To bring all critical stakeholders together for human capital development in Nigeria. You know, we have a lot of young ones, and every year about 3 million young people enter the job market. We need to think about these young people. We need to think about our future as a country. We need to prioritize our young ones. We need to develop them. We need to give them economic hope and opportunities so that we can collectively develop and then say no to extremism. To drive the program, NEC had set up a steering committee chaired by Vice President, comprising representatives from Senate, House of Representatives, and key ministries. The committee also represented by the governors of six geopolitical zones, as well as representatives of development agencies. Kike Lomo Okeri, Global Television News.